Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. It's whiteboard weather on this Friday afternoon. It's 26th day of June. Sunshine has been moving in and out of clouds this afternoon, but it's been dry. Fairly comfortable, too. Wait for it. And all you need is whiteboard weather on this Friday afternoon once again. Thanks for joining me. Spending just a little part of your Friday afternoon to, to get you up to speed uh, about the weekend weather and beyond. Uh, have some timing um, as to when exactly you have the best chances to see some rain this weekend. Uh, so lots to talk about and discuss on the whiteboard uh, this afternoon. Uh, a couple of other notes. Uh, first off, um, those of you um, over the course of this week and even so far today that have sent some stars, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I do want to uh, send out a special thanks uh, to those that have sent stars. And also, uh, as of three o'clock this afternoon, I had put out there um, a contest, if you will, just actually not a contest, it's more of a vote, a preference as to which tie you want to see me wear on WTAE tomorrow. And as of three o'clock, 1,142 of you have voiced your opinion. I have not tallied the votes so far uh, and probably won't for several more hours, so you still have time to vote if you haven't done so already. And then uh, I'll be wearing the winner. <laughs> on air tomorrow night uh, at WTAE 6.30 and uh, 11 o'clock. So for those of you that took the time to let me know which tie you would prefer, I appreciate that uh, as well. So uh, without further ado, uh, let us start off the afternoon by first giving some love, props to our Friday afternoon sponsor, You've heard me talk about her and her team a lot, and with good reason. It is the Lisa Wilson Real Estate Team from REMAX Select Realty. Lisa, once again this year, for the 10th year in a row, is a five-star real estate agent, a designation that is only for an exclusive group of 3% of real estate agents in the Pittsburgh area. So she's in some very high company there. For the 10th year in a row, a five-star real estate agent. Lisa knows the business, knows the area like no other. You're looking at her Facebook page while you're on Facebook. Isn't technology wonderful? Check out her Facebook page when you get a chance. She has some wonderful posts on there uh, about her current listings and just about some uh, sort of do-it-yourself and sort of home decorating ideas and tips and opinions. Uh, so check out her Facebook page when you get a chance. Also, you can find her on the World Wide Web at lisawilsonteam.com. This is her website with Remax Select Realty, a proud partner of your Pittsburgh Steelers. So when the time comes, you know who to call. Lisa Wilson, she's always exceeding expectations. Her and her team, which includes Shelly Verzella, they'll hook you up from start to finish, whether it's buying, selling, renting, or relocating, think Lisa Wilson team when you think Western Pennsylvania real estate. Here's a look at what's happening across our real estate this afternoon. Temperatures are now running in the low 80s. You can see most of the areas right around 81, 82 degrees. Dew points have ticked up just a degree or so. It's still relatively comfortable outside. Uh, dew point values around 59 to 60. They will continue to climb, though, later on this evening and overnight tonight as a warm front will be passing through the area. So that's going to increase atmospheric moisture. And right now, a bit breezy with those winds out of the west at about 10 to 12 miles an hour. Those winds will be shifting more out of the southwest this evening and overnight tonight, which will, again, transport in more 
atmospheric moisture. And with that initial push of warmer and more humid air, I think there'll be an opportunity to see some showers or even a thunder shower in parts of the area later tonight. This is this evening, about 8 o'clock. You can still see it across western PA. Overnight, this is about 2 o'clock in the morning. You can see that deeper shade of green north of Route 422. I think that's the area that has the best chance to see a round of some showers overnight tonight. And then things will quiet down tomorrow morning. And then they'll get going again tomorrow afternoon with the cold front back in the Midwest tomorrow morning. Moving into the area tomorrow afternoon, I think we'll see a round of some showers and a few thunderstorms, which will settle down to the south tomorrow night. And then Sunday morning, the front will come through and high pressure will build in behind it. So while Sunday morning may start off with clouds and maybe a leftover shower, I think sunshine reemerges Sunday afternoon. And then it's going to be a really nice stretch of weather for several days thereafter through much of next week. And that's all literally spelled out for you on the whiteboard, which we'll get to in just a moment. First, a few birthdays today. If you or someone you know is celebrating, these are people that share the birthday with you or them. Michael Vick, uh, he had a cup of coffee with the Pittsburgh Steelers several years ago. Derek Jeter, baseball Hall of Famer and really one of the all-time greats. Uh, if you're a fan of the uh, band One Republic, Lead singer is Ryan Tedder. He has a birthday today. And if you're a fan of NCIS LA, you know who Chris O'Donnell is. He's been in the TV series for a while. Also has done several movies, including Scent of a Woman. hoo -ah! He was in that movie as well. National Beauticians Day today. National Chocolate Pudding. National Coconut Day today. And National Take Your Dog to Work today so if you're had to go to the office and your office permitted you were allowed to take your dog with you to work today good stuff there and it's friday as well also before we get over to the whiteboard uh inner moderate range today allergy sufferers ragweed tree and grass pollens all in a moderate range uh today so uh fyi with regards to your allergy report all right let's head over to the whiteboard here it is the weather information you need to know, brought to you by the Lisa Wilson real estate team. That is her website, lisawilsonteam.com. She is the name to know, the one to trust when it comes to local real estate. Look for her Facebook page or find her online at lisawilsonteam.com. And uh, trust me, you will not be disappointed. They go above and beyond to help out their clients, which they call their friends. 8.54 is your sunset time this evening. Sunrise tomorrow morning. 5.51 moon is waxing crescent. Any shower or thunderstorm that does develop maybe tonight and or tomorrow, the chief concern is going to be for some downpours of rain and also some brief wind gusts. Those would be your main storm threats. And we're actually running at a deficit of rainfall for the month of June, which according to climatology is the wettest month of the year. We're running at a deficit of over two inches of rain for the month. We'll make up at least a little bit of that over the weekend, especially on Saturday. Tonight, 68 clouds are going to arrive in the area early this evening, a few showers after 10 o'clock. Again, I think the best chance for showers tonight is going to be north of Route 422. So that would be Newcastle, Butler, and Catanning on northward you have the best shot at seeing some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but not until after 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow, clouds will win out over sunshine, although a few peaks of sunshine will be possible. I think we'll lean more toward clouds tomorrow. Then in the afternoon with that approaching cool front, showers and a few thunderstorms. Again, the chief concern there would be for downpours and wind gusts. I think our main window of opportunity tomorrow will be sometime after one o'clock in the afternoon is when that window will open up and then we'll see a little activity lingering into tomorrow evening although i think everything by tomorrow evening starts to shift further south 68 it will be muggy and then the cold front will come through sunday morning as the cold front does move through cannot rule out a shower i'd say before 9 a.m 
Then clouds will give way to sunshine through the afternoon, 82. So uh, Sunday plans should be in fine shape, especially in the afternoon. Then it is game on with some gorgeous weather for several days. Monday, 83 with clouds and sunshine. Tuesday and Wednesday next week, lots of sunshine. And both days will settle into the mid-80s for highs. So, uh, And I think uh, starting Sunday afternoon, probably through at least Thursday of next week, I think we'll see some dry conditions. So we'll have several dry days in a row after an unsettled day tomorrow. That is a look at your Friday afternoon whiteboard brought to you by the Lisa Wilson Real Estate Team with REMAX Select Realty. So uh, that's the information you need to know. You should be good to go for uh, the weekend. Um, again, I've given you the timing there. Tomorrow, after one o'clock in the afternoon, keep an eye to the sky. Uh, as that's when the window will open as we see some of the scattered showers crossing the area. Not going to rain all afternoon, but uh, we're going to have to, most of us are probably going to see some rain at some point tomorrow afternoon and into early tomorrow evening. Um, again, this weekend, if you need an updated forecast and you want it as you get it here, simply accurate, no hype, you know where to turn. WTAE, Saturday and Sunday evening, 6.30 and 11 o'clock, both Saturday and Sunday evening. I will be there, and um, I'll be square, and I'll be wearing uh, the winning tie on Saturday. So we will see. Uh, thank you uh, for tuning in today. As always, I ask that you please share Whiteboard Weather with your Facebook friends. Uh, the more you share, the more people can join in um, our conversation, our interaction here, 7.30 and 3 o'clock every weekday. Those of you that sent stars, again, thank you so much. I wish you nothing but the best this weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace. See you on TV this weekend. Bye-bye.